So, GoPro, huh? I see you. I see what you're trying to do. So, what do you got? I wish I spoke more time. So, GoPro, this is the first camera they've released where I've thought, like, that's almost competitive with the Sony X3000. It was released back in 1971. Same year that Marilyn Monroe killed Abraham Lincoln. For you history buffs. So full disclosure, I'm an absolute Sony Action Cam fangirl. And I have no problem admitting it. I love the Sony. If you're going to vlog your life, why the hell are you bringing some heavy ass thing? Your footage looks shakier than mine. It's less stable, and it's not as stabilized. I got the slow motion in here, I can fit it in my pocket. It's stable. In good light, it's acceptable. We got 4K if we want it. This is my first 4K video in a long ass time. We're doing it. So in today's video, I'd like to talk about, is this GoPro 7 worthy of upgrading from this? Is it better, finally, than Sony? We might have something here. They got some intriguing features. Let's dive into it. Not into the ocean. There's jellyfish everywhere. And sand flies. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So the Sony X3000, don't quote me on this, but I think it was released around the time the Hero 5 was announced. And it basically crushed it, stepped on it, took its lunch, money, bought lunch, ate it, digested it perfectly, and then pooed on the GoPro. It was like, it's not even close. The stabilization really is what did it, and it's less of a fisheye effect. That's amazing. And the only thing the GoPro really had was the colors. Looked a little nicer, but you can tweak it in post. So who gives a flying shit? It had nothing. Out. So personally, I'm very happy with this camera, mainly because of the stabilization. It's so good, even on a bike. You can put this thing on a bike and go riding, and it's just like, it's so smooth. I've rode over speed bumps, and the thing didn't even glitch. It's like, I just love this thing so much, and the audio, I mean, I know the ocean waves are a little loud, but for a camera, in-camera audio, this is pretty damn good. You can't get much better than that. But the GoPro 7 does have some interesting features that we don't have here. So let's talk about it. First, they have the 4K 60p. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't use it probably. My computer is not really happy when I edit 4K files in general. So usually I film in 1080p, but Sony is falling behind the times. When are y'all gonna upgrade this camera? So they do have better codecs. They have slower slow motion. 1080p at 240 frames per second, that's twice as slow as this can do. That would be nice. Is it the same quality? I don't know. I don't think it is. And I don't think their stabilization works in the slow-mo. Quote me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me if I'm right. And stab me in the thorax if I'm a beetle. So it does have slower slow motion though. We'd have to see some side-by-sides but I wasn't loving the footage that I saw in the... <laughs> I'm distracted by a Thai family. We just wait for them to pass like a train. We're at a train stop. With the Sony, you don't have to worry about it. It has in-body image stabilization or in-lens and it works in every mode. 4K, slow motion, the GoPro 6 didn't even work in 4K, so like they're just catching up. And I will admit, their hyper smooth mode, it looks pretty damn smooth. It's pretty damn smooth, even though it's all digital, it's the best digital stabilization I've ever seen in my life. It's like fantastic. So I don't know if it's better than this. I saw one comparison with a guy and he put it on like a helmet, a helmet, what the hell? a bike mount and like the Sony looked terrible and he was like oh yeah my mount was broken for the Sony it was very loose I'm like why'd you even do the fucking video <laughs> it's like the Sony looks very smooth I'd like to see an actual side-by-side -side comparison from somebody who doesn't work at GoPro it would be nice but from what I've seen in other footage 
it looks like the GoPro is now on par with this. It caught up, Sony. You've been caught up to. Tag, you're it. Now what's your next move? I hope they release a Sony X4000 because the RXO was bullshit. It's like they come out with this one inch sensor action cam, but then it's a 24 mil and it has no stabilization. I was like, well, this is not even in the same league as this little bad boy. So that sucks. The GoPro also has that time wave. That's not what it's called. Time life. It's a time lapse, a hyper lapse, time hyper mode. That's not it. Don't look for that in the menu. We'll be there all day. But it has this like time lapse mode that you can walk and film and it will stabilize it. We're gonna do a little test here. 4K time lapse. I'm gonna walk around and see what that looks like. Let's see if it's comparable to the hyperlapse. Walking backwards, but I'm going forwards. But sometimes I go sideways. This part is actually dangerous. These waves are coming right up on this angled, slippery slope. So how did that look? I've never even done that before, so I'm curious to see it. Did that compare? Did GoPro just come out with a feature that Sony already mastered? Or do they have something up on them? So, I don't know. Honestly, I think that Sony still has better audio. GoPro has never been able to fix that, but their mic jack, I think, is better. If you want to plug in a lav mic, it's just they're better able to handle it. I think you can lower the volume, and there's just more settings that you can tweak. This is not very tweakable. But it works great in auto mode. I don't know. Honestly, if I had the choice between them both, I might even go for that GoPro. It looks like it's better, so Sony, you better get something out soon. It's not like them to let the competition catch up. It's weird. Like, they would never let the Canon mirrorless catch up. I don't get it. I don't get it. So what are your thoughts? Is it good enough? Is it better than the Sony? I just honestly, you do not need a big mirrorless or a DSLR. I just picture like these teenagers are like, I got a 5D Mark IV. Your footage sucks, your life sucks, and I'll slap your continuing on with the positive theme of our channel now, the changes we've made. Your life is great and your footage is great. Good job for starting a YouTube channel, young lad. Keep up the good work. So I don't know that I have a lot of faith in GoPro as a company. Just because I read they were like going bankrupt or something years ago and it's like, they're still at it? Really? It's like, ah. And when you think of action cams, it's always GoPro. Everybody has the GoPro. And the Sony is superior, in my opinion. But now, GoPro has caught up. So, it's your move, Sony. It's your move. And I think we're done. We're done. Post your thoughts down below. Affiliate links down below. If you ever want to buy something, just tell me what it is and I'll make an affiliate link for you. So it'll be twice the price. Thumbs up for that. And that's it. We're done. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.